Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to day 18, a vlog every day in April. It's Steve, and today's video is going to be on request of, and forgive me if I mispronou mispronounce your screen name, Jambasaya TV. So, a couple of days ago, Jambasaya TV asked me, Good day, sir. I have a question. I saw a video on YouTube that the ZV-1 can be charged using a power bank. Is the ZV-E10, can the ZV-E10 do that also? Or maybe you can cover that topic on your next video. Thanks. I figured this is a perfect question because I did not even think of this. So I have my Sony ZV-E10 right here. Just drop that here. And then I have my Insignia power bank right here so we'll do it now so let me just switch the screener switch the screen around a little bit and test this out so we'll transition over now we could see my zv e10 right now so if i hit the button to switch to um, camera mode you'll see it says there's 87 percent battery right now let's see what happens when i plug in the power bank so i'm going to plug it in let's see okay it's in and now i just have to hit the button here and the power is coming but we don't see the battery percentage so let's hit that button again and see what happens bingo you can see the little charging icon so jambasaya tv you 100 percent can charge your sony zv e10 with a power brick and it's that easy. Just plug it in. I'm using the USB uh, C port. And then I'll, I don't know why it doesn't stay there, but as you can see again, the little battery icon with the little charging icon, and then it disappears. But I just keep switching modes and it pops up again. So there it is. And there's your answer. You can charge a Sony ZV E10 with the power brick. And that's it. So I hope this video was helpful and useful to you guys out there. And I hope to see you tomorrow, April 19th, on Vlog Every Day in April, Day 19. Peace, guys.